Hello guys and welcome to the War Roos tutorial. When playing this campaign you will learn how to control your forces and your economy as well as understanding stratagems and military art. You will find out more about various methods of assault and diversionary tactics and will be able to organize an effective defense. Naturally you already have knowledge that will allow you to gain brilliant victories. But it can never hurt to discover new war ruses and use them to crush previously invisible enemies. Well, let's see what it has to teach us. I want to do this campaign, guys, because I also did a beginner guide. And hey, let's start with peace. This tutorial mission will teach you to produce and control units, to build your city and collect resources, to research and develop upgrades. Let's begin guys, make sure to hit the like button and the subscribe button if you enjoy this one. Yep. Okay. My king, we're almost there. The town where you will learn the basics of ruleship is near. We'll arrive very soon. Then let's not waste time, my friend. Is this yet? Okay, let's put everything up. Nice, we've got two guards over here. Good day, your majesty. We're to escort you to our line, to our fine little town. A king needs a proper re re retinue, and we are honored to serve as such. This is a, a general, guys. The general is much, much stronger than an officer. What do we have here? Oh. Some peasants. Some everything. We're doing it on impossible. <laughs> I wonder what can they teach you on impossible difficulty. Greetings, your majesty. I'm honored to welcome you to my domain. What are you looking at? Never mind that nothing is produced here. These lazy clowns couldn't be forced to work if salvation of their souls has depended on it. Not like this land offers anything to be produced in the first place. You can't harvest snow in winter here. What about the garrison? They are soldiers, all right. They can't march in line, so what? They know how to hold a pike. That's enough for this backwater wilderness as far as I'm concerned. Listen not to your scheming advisors. I've got enemies everywhere. An honest man's life is never easy. I'm surprised a whole lot of you are not yet running on all four here. <laughs> My king, I apologize you saw this town in such a decrypt state. Appointing this Nay, the governor has a dire mistake, was a dire mistake, one that needs to be fixed at once. He is ought to be fired immediately. I think he is just dumb. Send this imbecile back home. Let him learn to manage his own estate. His negligence has cost the kingdom dearly. I must make an example of him. Execute the fool. Nice. Okay, they are all working now. In line. My king, we have to clean up the place now. Here come the local peasants. They are very important. It is their job to construct buildings and harvest resources. There are six resources in to total. Wood, stone, fruit, gold, iron and coal. You need them all to develop the town and to raise an army. How should I begin? Food is among the most important resources. You should start by building a mill and provide plowing a field that will supply you with provisions. Food is necessary both to produce new soldiers and peasants and to feed the existing ones. If you run out of provisions, your units will starve and die. Select a proper place to construct a mill. You need a plenty of space and flat terrain for the field. Now, oh, okay, that's the spot. Let's build a mill. Not like that is a lot of space. Personally, I would have built it here because it's a lot of space here. Okay, we're building a mill. Since this is a guide, 
I might be allowed to cheat a bit. But fine, let's not cheat. Great, the mill is up and field is planted. Give the seeds some time to grow. Meanwhile, build a storehouse. It will provide storage for wood and stone extracted by your peasants. It is prudent to construct the storehouse as close as possible to forest or quarry. By the way, your food will not be stored in the storehouse. Who wants their bread to come with sand and sawdust? Well, that's just bullshit okay let's build a storehouse we basically build a storehouse close to the stone and the wood for every storehouse you build there will be it will be more and more expensive the more you build the more expensive it will be now it is time to begin producing the remaining resources gold iron and coal Without coal and iron, your firearms will turn into useless scrap metal. Mineral veins are easy to spot on the surface of rock. Please find an iron, coal or gold deposit and order peasants to build a mine there. Very well, build a mine. Okay, let's build a mine. That's an iron mine. What about the other resources? I do not, okay. I have that. But that is pretty much what I have. Okay, to build another mine I must search. Now we have sufficient resources to develop the town, my king. Please send some peasants to work the fields and grow food to feed our people. Others should be ordered to fall trees to work in the quarry, providing us with wood and stone. Make sure the mine has enough workers as well, and we can start raising garrison. Finally. Okay. Train 36 pikemen. Fine. And producing is lovely, blah blah blah. Yeah, to produce infinite amount of units, press control and then click on the unit. These guys are Sweden, they are being made so fast. Okay, let's put these guys to work the field. We need mines. We need to search for mines. We have another problem to solve. At the moment your soldiers look more like a gang of outlaws. In order to turn them into a proper army we need to combine them into regiments. They will fight much better and have a more imposing look to boot. To create a regiment you need an officer and a drummer, along with soldiers themselves of course. An infantry regiment can line up into three formations, rank, column and square. The choice of a formation depends on the task at the hand. Column is best for assault. Rank formation is most suitable for firing, and Squire is ideal for defense, especially from enemy cavalry. Let's whip into shape. Oh, okay, I need to make officers. I have the drum, actually I have the officers. So I have the officer and drummer. I click the officer, I make formation. Ta-da! There I have it. My king, we need more dwelling space to build up our garrison. Soldiers and peasants alike need bunks to sleep on. You cannot hire new people until you can provide them with a roof above their heads. Command your workers to build some houses. I'll get this boy and I will build some houses. I press shift and then left click. You can queue up to six buildings. You can, I mean you can queue a hundred. But this guy will only build the first six orders. And then he'll stop like an idiot. Yeah, so there is that. I don't know why there is this rule. I guess just to not lag the game too much. I'm just guessing.
I think sometimes you will be able to produce some resources or another. Some resource or another. You'll need to access the market to trade it for other resources. Market prices are not set in stone. The more you sell a particular resource, the lower the price drops. Okay, this is the market. You can trade resources on the market. Well, this hamlet is uh, in good order now, but I fear uh, it had the limits of its development. The hinterland lacks resources it needs to expand into large city. We can keep exploiting it, sure, but we should consider looking for resources elsewhere. On the other side of the river, for example, command the workers to construct a shipyard. Once it is completed, order some fishing boat. The shipyard has to be constructed by the water, of course. Bring more planks. Yeah, okay. Looks really nice. Let's take this path. We have a lot of food. We shouldn't care about food at all. Now we can make more bike, man. It costs food and iron. Whatever. The shipyard gets built really fast, but in reality the shipyard gets built really slowly. It's nice that we can zoom. In Cossack 1, couldn't do that. Okay, fishing boats. Oh my god, it gets built so slowly. My king, we have to scrub the bottom of this poor land in order to expand the network of passages and railroads inside the mines. With this done, the mine could accommodate more workers, increasing its output. Okay. Basically, we will be able to put some more people in the mine. We should improve our food production intensively. Instead of plowing new lands, we can boost the, out, the output of existing fields. We will uh, need new agricultural equipment from our blacksmith and improvement uh, of the mill. What are we waiting for? Okay, let's improve the mill. So on the market you can trade. Let's trade some food, I know. 100 food for 7 gold. Bam, there you have it. Now that we have boosted our economy and stocked up resources, we can begin a reform of our army. To make out the most from our men, we need to train and drill them. Brave and skillful soldiers fight better and scatter numerous yet untrained mobs with ease. It is better to maintain a small but professional standing army than a horde of green recruits. As the Romans used to say, men become brave through training and force of discipline. Indeed, the professional soldiers of Rome crushed many a horde of barbarian mili militiamen. Research available upgrades. Okay, we can research and make our units better. We can put some more people in that mine. Bam, five more. My king disaster struck. There is fire in the smithy. Send peasants to doze the flames out before it burns to the ground. Least we'll have to build a brand new one. Okay. Let's make the upgrades. They walk like chickens. Oh, now they actually wo uh, walk like Naruto. Naruto when he's running. Like I said before, my king, this land is poor and we need a better place for a proper city. Let's count on the other side of the river. To cross this obstacle, we will need a ferry. And our shipyard is capable of producing it. 
Okay, let's produce a fa fa fairy. My king, our ferry is ready for the maiden voyage. Use it to transport peasants and soldiers on the other side of the river. Send them out to look for a good place to build a city. One rich with resource deposits when you found one. Order to build a town center. It will serve as a heart of the city, providing us with housing to recruit more peasants and with storage for resources collected by our workers. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, we're getting them there. Let's put some more man. Whoa, why did I get this? I'm a bit scared now. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Everywhere. Oh my god, guys, Christmas is coming. What a thought, huh? Okay. Let's move on. There's no more room for anyone. I didn't pick the, the general. He might be upset. Loading is the fair blah blah. You can hire workers out of town and transport your soldier and peasants across the river and find a new city there. Okay. Let's get going. It takes some time. It takes some time until they uh, they get out actually. Okay, we have to build a new city. Not sure if the new city implies, I don't know, having more buildings. My king, you should note how various buildings of your city need one another. Some of them can't be constructed for as long as others are missing. You cannot build a barracks without a blacksmith, for instance. Besides, some buildings just cannot function properly without others. Imagine you have built a barracks and began raising an army, then somehow lost the smithy in process. Your barracks is still there, but you cannot train more soldiers until a replacement blacksmith is available. Your learning amazes me, my friend. I'm lucky to have an advisor like you. No shitting me. Let's build a farm as well. Let's build the barracks. I shouldn't have built the barracks here. Storehouse. I'm just building everything I can. So there will be some buildings have progressive, for example. Uh, transport your soldiers and peasants across the river and found a new city. So is the city found? I guess I have to build all this uh, things. Pretty much. My king, sound the alarm. Some people were spotted and um, they are clearly not our men. And their intent is anything but ban banning. We should protect ourselves. Okay, we have the upgrades pretty much done.
Let's build a freaking mine. Oh, I forgot I have this, guys. Are you all right, my king? We have beaten the, uh, them away. God be praised. This sound rolls could do much harm. Have you noticed some buildings and peasants can be captured when there are no soldiers nearby? Mills and mines left unguarded, for instance. Yes. Right, send men to patrol around our storehouse, mines and mills. However, it only helps against lone soldiers. We need to do better to, uh, to be safe from significant enemy forces. Let's erect a palisade. Well, to be fairly honest with you guys, the palisade is useless. <laughs> because it can be taken down extremely easy by the enemy. My king, there is a way to raise an army quickly by hiring some mercenaries, of course. They are not as good as professional soldiers and they cost a lot of gold, with their price increasing with each warrior already enlisted. Worse yet, if you ever run out of gold, they will mutiny, mutiny and start fighting against us. Still, if you are pressed for time to raise an army of your own, soldiers of fortune should suffice. You need to build a diplomatic center to hire them. Okay, actually, right now, that's pretty desperate time. We need to destroy enemy buildings and while our brave soldiers are a bane of enemy cavalry and infantry, they are powerless when facing walls of stone. We need cannons, but for now there is no time nor funds to acquire them. It is better to wire off some gold and hire bowmen. They are capable of destroying enemy buildings with flaming arrows. Fine. Okay, so I built the walls with some gaps, of course, couldn't be otherwise. Keep making units. <laughs> Is this an army or something? Why can't I delete them? Must come back with a fairy and I must make some archers. And there is that. Okay, guys, let's build some more town centers. need actually this amount of archers is perfect Bam. you also go there bro I could make more fairies actually but it's okay always be happy of, for what you have Oh, screw it. I cannot delete the freaking wall. But I must build a gate. Let's go with our pikeman and destroy that. This guy actually takes a while. I didn't expect that. there are some walls from the enemy okay that is enough
All right. To destroy that house, I'm gonna need um, this unit. The archers, actually. It's the maximum speed, guys. I don't have enough dwellings anymore. Okay, the archers arrived. It's time to step back. Okay, and the building is losing health. The archers are very efficient, guys. I never question their efficiency when it comes about destroying buildings. They are pros. And after some point, the enemy structures are just losing health by themselves. There you go. Okay. Now that uh, hunger and enemy troops pose no threat to the city, it is time to think about science. I suggest to build an academy, it will allow you to make certain upgrades and research new technologies, allowing you to boost the production and efficiency of your economy and the martial power prowess of your troops. Besides, you need academy to produce officers and drummers. It's uh, 17th century. 17th century. An officer is supposed to possess wide-ranging knowledge from all walks of life. Let's build a freaking academy. The academy takes some time to build. <clears throat> Okay, I have it. Having constructed a lot of research to upgrade. My king, you have learned much. You know how to produce resources, how to build cities, and how to raise armies. When the storehouses are full of supplies and the borders are secured by reliable troops, there is a golden opportunity to develop science. So many wondrous discoveries were achieved by our learned men. And how many more still await ahead? What will be coming century bring? What will be the coming century bring? What kind of arms will bear the armies of tomorrow? How could our noble ancestors who used to fight armor and mounted imagine to the accomplishments of infantry made of commoners armed with muskets? And what kind of weaponry will be invented by some cruel genius in years to come? My friend, I'm honored to have a man like you for my advisor. Thanks for your service. This is it guys, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to hit the like button and the subscribe button. And also check out G2A.com, they are my official sponsor. If you use the SHD code, you can get 3% cashback. Link in the description, bye bye.